And um, what is the real picture here as you see it from the information that you've garnered from what you've seen? What do you think really is going on there? And should the Japanese government be doing more at this, at this very moment as we're speaking? Okay. Well, it, 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 there is serious contamination on the ground out to 100 kilometers, and there's less serious contamination out to 200 kilometers. There's significant contamination in Tokyo and even to the south of Tokyo. So in calculations that I've made in the last two weeks, and I've just come back from Berlin where I gave a paper on this, in my estimation on the basis of the risk model of the European Committee on Radiation Risks, about 400,000 people will develop cancer in the 200 kilometer radius if they are not moved out. We're talking about 7.8 million people living inside that 200 kilometer radius. So why aren't and they being the moved out, Christopher? Why, why are you one of the few, one of the lone voices saying this? Why aren't we hearing more of these uh, grave consequences and warnings that, 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 that you're giving? I'm basing my predictions on, on the health effects of the Chernobyl accident. And I was in Berlin talking to a, a lot of uh, researchers from, from the Chernobyl area who've been looking into the effects of the Chernobyl accident. And on the basis of those figures, it's possible to predict the number of, of cancers that will develop in Fukushima. And also along the coast, I have to say, because the, the marine sediment is now becoming contaminated and the shellfish will concentrate the, uh, the radioactivity. It's an, it's an absolute disaster. Anyway, this is my prediction. And I gave you my prediction some time ago, and you remember mm -hmm. I was proved right. Indeed. So here's my prediction again. And uh, we shall see. What's it going to mean for people currently in that exclusion zone, people in the evacuation zone? Will they ever be able to go back home? I don't think so, no. I think that it will be like the Chernobyl exclusion zone and people will be kept out. I mean, it may be that they will say that you can go back and it's all safe and, and so forth, but I don't think that they will. And I don't think anybody believes them now anyway. My, my people in Japan tell me that there's an enormous rage in Tokyo and in the areas around Fukushima about the way in which this information has come out so slowly and, and, and uh, in, such a, in such a difficult way. And, and even some of this information could be shown to be wrong. I mean, we, we, we've, we've been able to find out, figure out that the IAEA uh, uh, um, data that they gave is actually not correct. They, they've downplayed the levels of contamination. We can see that this is quite easy. By, by, cal by making cal calculations. Christopher Busby, you're talking to us from uh, Aberystwyth, Wales environment expert as you are. Thank you for being on the programme. Your insight most valuable.